least here at Six News, we can't really talk about State College unless we talk to this gentleman to our right, the Baron of State College, Gary Sinderson, who's been here, I think, has you been here as long as the university? No, the university was formed in the 1800s. You haven't been here quite that long. But seriously, this is a really cool place. Hey guys, welcome to State College. Good evening. Thank and you. for you, Mr. Radovanic, welcome to State College, where icons have roamed for <laughs> ages. We are in the heart of downtown State College, right in front of the school library. State College itself, really not that old. The borough itself incorporated just before 1900. And the State College area has grown as Penn State has grown. Also in the middle of it all has been College Avenue, which has divided Penn State and State College. College Avenue also symbolizes what they call here town and gown relationships, the relationship between Penn State and State College. Outside the tavern restaurant along College Avenue, it's simply called the Pig Statue. For a town known for its nittany lines, it turns out as depicted in this early photo of College Avenue when it was just a dusty trail, that pigs were among the first to roam the area. And um, that old photograph suggests that the, the farms, the local farms were very close to where the school was going to be developed. And that photograph suggests that the, the local pigs were roaming <laughs> um, College Avenue. Take a trip down memory lane along College Avenue. Penn State has established in the 1850s and more of that farmland transitions into development on both sides of the avenue for both the university and state college. Most places where there's a university, the university was kind of placed inside of an already existing town or city. In this case, uh, the, the university was placed and then the town uh, evolved around, around. around it. State College was incorporated as a borough in 1896. Several decades later, a new nickname emerged for the area. Happy Valley, because it is the happiest valley. I hear that it never got struck with a depression or a recession at all throughout like the you know, 30s and 20s and everything. Nothing ever happened in this area. So that's what I heard. It's a happy valley anyways. Yeah, that has merit. You know, it, it, recessions really don't hit here. We are pretty insulated from great economic downturns. As for the specific origin of the Happy Valley term, you do hear various theories here, and it certainly gained popularity as a marketing tool. Because Penn State's awesome, it's a really happy place. Everyone is fun here. State College Mayor Elizabeth Gorham points to the energy and economic impact the university generates for the State College area, and even with the development of the surrounding region, it's the early growth along College Avenue that started it all. It sort of melds us uh, invisibly uh, together, welds us together, and uh, I think it's a, it's a good blend and it seems to be working. That is State College Mayor Elizabeth Gorham talking about College Avenue. By the way, for the locals here, College Avenue this summer has been the scene of many times. One of the earliest water pipes put in this town, it's about 100 years old, they've had to replace the entire pipe along College Avenue. State College Water Authority telling us the good news is they should have that work wrapped up in about a month.